It's a fucking country. Yeah, Taiwan's a country. <laughs> Period. There are smaller countries in our world. You can't get any more countries than this. And I think it's sad that these fucking stupid Hollywood cucks are mad that fucking they pissed off somebody in China. And I thought it was funny because he went on and apologized to China for calling Taiwan a country. And then some Chinese men started dogging him because he was like, he's not fucking sincere. He's just doing it for fucking clout and publicity and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, see, even the Chinese understand that you have no goddamn balls, John. On Cena. You yeah. should have either just right. you should have either just stuck with Taiwan's a country or you shouldn't have fucking done it at all. I would have liked Taiwan's a fucking country. I think Taiwan's a country. Yeah. Why not? They make a lot of fucking shirts, man. They don't follow the Chinese government. They have their own fucking government rules. They have elections, they have an army, and they have land. And, and t- until some of those things are taken from them, they're a fucking country. Yeah. Winning. Not not asking for that to happen. Hopefully not. But no, I, I did I don't want that to happen. I just Yeah, because then we can't call Taiwan a country anymore. <laughs> we'll lose one topic of the day. And Taiwan's a different culture entirely from the rest of China, though. Like yeah. it really is. No, I know. <laughs> I know. That's what that's where Bangkok is, isn't it? No, that's Thailand. Whatever, it's all bad. <laughs> Taiwan is much better than Thailand. The Taiwan is like a, a developed nation. I get you. I'm just being a dick. <laughs> So uh, the U.S. Navy, speaking of um, militaries. You know, and I wonder, how many people are, are ready for what we're going to say and honestly believe this? I'm still questioning it myself. So do you believe in aliens? Have you seen them? Do you wait in your yard hours at night just waiting for the lights to flash by and you go... The big light comes and you float up in the sky with the fucking cow? Dude, it'd be magic. <laughs> and only you have the magic in me. I mean, aside from the anal probing, if you take me away from the circus, I'm not going to fucking, uh, dis- I'm not going to be mad about that. But anyway, the U.S., there was a leaked footage of a UFO flying their Navy destroyers and with Navy people like saying, follow it, track it. We don't know what it is, blah, 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 blah. Well, the Navy did an investigation and they actually admitted that it was real. Wow. That's exciting. You know, we're gonna have a link up, and uh, you tell us what you think. Do you believe it? Yeah, we'll put the footage. Does it seem real? Is it something you believe in? I can. It's not that long. It's only a few seconds long. I'll actually even clip the footage of the UFO directly into the fucking <laughs> podcast right now. You can see it and uh, make it for yourself. But this thing's trans medium. Like it, it, they chase it for a while and then it plunges down in the the ocean. They mark the spot with sophisticated tracking technology and they go do the searches then. The search grid thing that they do, which allows them to find, like, plane wreckage and shit on the ocean floor, even if it drifts. And, and they didn't find a single piece of wreckage, which means this thing's transmedia. It could fly, and then it could submerge itself and be good. That's how winning is done! They basically hit the water and took off. Yeah, because then they couldn't follow it anymore. They, they lost track of it. So this is not just, like, we don't, like, somebody says it's another country. I mean, it could be. We've never seen humans like trans. The, mo- the, the most we've come to with trans medium technology is that fucking boat, that, that, that car that becomes a boat. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We, we don't have a fucking. I mean. Is it possible? Maybe. I mean, China's been doing some things and they've, we've been, people have been investing in them because instead of fighting communism, they thought investing money in communism to make them not communists would be a better option. But you just made rich communists. Yeah, which is worse. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. You know, it is what it is. So, yeah, it is what it really is. The, the, the government is trash. Uh, I, 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 I want to believe it's aliens cause I don't want to believe another country has a drone capability that can outmaneuver the United States Navy. Cause I, I don't want to think about the, the, the fuckery that could come, but it's probably yeah. China. And if it's, it is, is in China, we're going to be in some serious trouble. I don't think so. I do. I Fucking think start so. throwing egg rolls. No, I think we're going to be in trouble. Uh, China's like they they oh they they took Hong Kong. They're talking about taking Taiwan. Uh, they have concentration camps. Winning? No. You suck. They is, they, they're talking time, shit though. to Russia. They they're like basically talking shit to Russia. They pissed Putin off. He was going to build like a pipeline for oil and buy oil from Russia. China was, and they started doing the project and he started building it. And then he went to Beijing, and they were like, "Oh, sorry, we can't give you that amount of money, Mister Putin. We have to give you less money." And he like left, pissed, canceled the project and shit. Well, wow. so like they're 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 emboldened. Uh, they're taking islands in the South China Sea. 
islands and atolls that belong to like island people that are not Chinese. Like the yeah. like, yeah. Like I don't, I don't even know. I don't even. I don't even know if they have a country. They're more like they're more like Aborigines. I mean, they they have better knowledge. There's air force bases and, sh- and shit through, yeah. s- scattered throughout the atolls, and we every Christmas we drop like supplies and stuff. It's the Christmas drop, but the they're like. The Pacific Islanders, like where they, the 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 origins of Hawaii. Yeah. These people, they used to like travel from island to island on boats, but they they live in little villages and things. They don't actually like have yeah. a country. And China's coming in and seizing all these islands. Now, some of these right. islands are not inhabited, but they didn't belong. Just because the islands there doesn't mean it belongs to you. Yeah, exactly. But then again, it's whoever gets there first and claims the land. It's a it's a land grab. That's what it is. No, it, it's a fight over resources because we have dwindling resources because the lockdowns fucked, fucked us in the ass. Winning. Just no. like earlier today when I was trying to fucking buy a, a nice, good, heavy-duty fucking steering kit for my Jeep from the manufacturer, and they were all fucking sold out because they don't have the steel to fucking manufacture the goddamn shit. And they told me that they couldn't even ship it to me until July 27th. And then? So, like... I mean that that's just that that's just one. We got like lumber prices are going up because we have lumber shortages. Steel prices are increasing. Yeah, Steel yeah. prices. Um, food's going to start coming. Like certain food items are going to stop being on the shelves soon. We're going into a great depression. Yeah. Are you ready? Is it exciting to you? If you are can you worried. If you can only eat once a day. What would you eat? Eat breakfast. Because you'll feel fuller. Longer throughout the rest of the day. My grandfather told me that, and he lived through the first depression. But it doesn't. It really doesn't surprise me because America suffered a depression right before the last World War, and that was roughly eighty to one hundred years. And we repeat the same gar- garbage roughly every eighty to one hundred years, and we're roughly right on track. Yeah. And there is probably going to be a world war against China, and China st- has the con. The, the only difference now is that we didn't realize that Japan. Uh, Germany had concentration camps until we were actually at war. Yeah. And with China, we know they do. That's the only difference. I mean, we should... Well, no, the only difference is is when people found out and it got to that point, people fought back. Well, no, it's like that we didn't find... that we, we didn't... We didn't know they were there even when we were in Germany fighting or in, in, in Europe fighting. Yeah. Our troops stumbled upon one liberated that bitch yeah. was fucking horrified and then proceeded to unfuck that mess with extreme prejudice yeah <laughs> which we're gonna have to apparently do again i mean we should have already done it the entire world we said never again winning no i and mean that, that was as a as a whole guys that wasn't just like one country that was everybody I don't even think we we can do it though because you know we got this blm mess going on they're burning down our cities um, we have our own civil war that's about to happen. Like there's like an irreconcilable irre- differences between two large factions of our country, and that shit's spilling out into the rest of the world. Like there's BLM riots all over the place. The government just gave the fucking embassies the permission to fly the fucking BLM flag. The Marxists it's have taken over our government. They fired an officer from the space force because he said that the Marxists was taking over the military. You suck. Wow. The this army has a fucking office of intersectional intersectionality. The army's new recruiting videos are fucking disastrous. The army's saying that fucking white men and militias and stuff are the greatest domestic terrorist threat in the United States of America. They're teaching soldiers this right in the fuck now. Winning. No. Soldiers have that that have access to the training materials, stole the training materials, smuggled them off base despite them being sensitive materials. And fucking push, put them out into the ether because because they were like, this is fucking garbage. Yeah, this is stuff that just cannot be happening. The the Biden administration's trash. We need to absolve the ties that bind. And we need to save our country again. Because if it continues this way, guys, do you, do you know what that's going to be? It's going to be just like it was once before. Concentration camps. Are we war. Gonna... D- death. That's all it's going to be. Death, famine. <laughs> We got to uh, beat this censorship machine. We got to beat these fascists. The only way we do that is by building our own community. And the only way we do our bu- build our own community is 
to like stop using their infrastructure. Yeah, that's so, right, guys. So don't forget to go to the website, join, subscribe, share, let your friends know, tell your parents, tell your cousins, tell your brothers, tell your fucking dog. I don't care. Let them know. Join, subscribe, donate five. That's how winning is done. Uh, yeah, so Squarespace has been doing some censorship fuckery lately. So hasn't Vimeo has been doing some censorship fuckery? It basically canceled the fucking Tim Pool's fucking thing. So we're going to actually, the website's still up on Squarespace, but we're going to like build one from scratch for the ground up. Uh, we're going to have all the same benefits ported over and such, uh, but we're going to add new benefits. We're going to have extra clips and segments that you can't get anywhere else but the website to help boost the value of that $5 a month. Because we really need your help to, to completely shelter us from that, that type of fuckery. Censorship machine that and fuckery. all these people controlling what is heard and seen today. And believe you me, we're going to say some things. And you'll probably hear this part, but not the rest. So we already got uh, our 500 subscribers we wanted by, by June. We've already have it. We have, we're, we're, we've exceeded that. We're at. 600 and something and we're looking for a thousand come on guys can you keep it moving so, yeah, keep yeah, the momentum jumping it up to a thousand subscribers across all platforms uh speaking of subscribers uh we're going to announce the winner of the like a government this is like a government shirt the lucky winner is uh at Ma max shager on mines from mines he was he's a he's a mine subscriber. Yep, and congratulations, you win. Get back to us soon, and we'll uh, send it out to you. We should be getting in touch with you too on mines via mines. At least attempted to to get your like size and information and where we have to send it and such. So you, sh if you haven't heard from us yet and you're listening to this now, reach out to us. You can get our emails from the website, our contact information, uh, and we'll get that shirt out to you as soon as you can because. Uh, that's how we roll. Now, if you guys wanted the Like a Government shirt and you weren't lucky enough to actually win and get the Like a Government shirt. Don't forget, you need to go jump on down to the merch store. Find these things for yourself. Prices are good. Sometimes they're cheap. Sometimes they're not, depending on the day percentage you change. Only you can decide when. Uh, next week, we'll have another um, shirt up. We'll design another shirt, put a new shirt up, and we'll give another one away at the end of the month. That marks three shirts. We have the Make Free Speech Again shirt, the Like a Government shirt, and we'll do another one uh, for you guys there. And we're going to do um, extra segments that you can only get from clips that because of things that like YouTube and stuff likes to uh, ban. So we're going to let yeah, everything know that... just to keep it safe and stay out of that whole scenario there. We're just going to put it right on the website. So don't forget, guys, go to the website, join, share, subscribe, donate, and you'll find there'll be different raffles and other activities you might get entered into. You might get some wins. You never know. Try your luck. Uh, yeah, there was a new benefit we were going to put on the website. Uh, there's another raffle that is going to be for members only. Uh, at the end of the month, we're going to pull a random member out, and we're going to do a one-on-one -on -one conversation with that member. And we're going to put it up on the website. But only it, if you subscribe, so share, donate, and join. If you guys have any questions you want us to answer, you can collect them. You can become a member. You can get it. And you'll you'll enter to win your chance to actually ask us all these questions. First and hand. we'll give you your answers uh, whether you like them or not. <laughs> Debating is open. Because I can be savagely blunt sometimes. And it's okay because you'll accept it. And with that, guys, I think it's time. And, uh, yes, come back in a little bit, and we'll have those exclusive segments up on the website. And that's on point. Good Peace. Night.